The fierce war between the supporters of Wagner's free-roaming style and Brahms' more traditional style was dubbed the War of the Romantics. And yet Hungarian composer and pianist Erno Dohnani seems to marry the two styles in the sextet for the unusual combination of string quartet, clarinet, and horn. The piece is both formally structured and harmonically adventurous, and it even shows wit managing to poke fun at its own seriousness. One of the things I find really striking about the Dachnani is the largeness of the piece. You sit down six people on stage and you get to create really what is a symphony. You know, usually the horn player feels like a bull in a china shop in these kind of situations. But because of the way that all of the instruments are utilized, Dachnani does this in such a masterful way that it always feels comfortable. It doesn't feel like I'm stepping on anybody's toes and I don't feel like a brass hole in the room. A short piece by Liszt dedicated to the memory of Wagner leads to Dachnani's sextet.
Finally, we turn to one of the pillars of classical music repertoire, Schubert's extraordinary string quartet, nicknamed Death and the Maiden. The name comes from one of Schubert's own songs, which he used as the basis of the slow movement of this quartet, in which a young woman begs death to pass her by. This is a fiercely beautiful and powerful work, and despite the subject matter, it's impossible not to feel uplifted and deeply inspired by it. 70 years after it was written, Gustav Mahler arranged the piece for a string orchestra, amplifying the piece in scope and impact. I am thrilled to be inside the voice of two different composers, Schubert and Mahler. Thinking of my own work as a composer and how it feels I've translated some of my own string quartets into larger orchestra pieces to now see what that feels like from the inside. This Mahler arrangement of it for string orchestra with double basses really brings out the symphonic scope and potential of this piece. For the final piece of this summer, I've put together what is perhaps the most illustrious string orchestra ever assembled. So grab on to your seats.